Bub, what say you? Oh, <laughs> Def- <laughs> definitely toxic. <laughs> Leave my girl alone. Hey, lady, yo. Hey, girl. Um, yeah, that shit toxic as hell. Because, Pete, if I'm giving you 110% of me all the time and you only happy 50 percent of the time that shit toxic as hell it ain't gonna work mm-hmm. if i if i if i can't if i if i'm giving you 110 percent and um that's not good enough i can't please you then i i'm really not making you happy then so either i gotta go or you gotta go it's a wrap shit it's too toxic for me i didn't seen too many instances where dudes is just doing like way they going above and beyond and they ladies or wives is just not they just not happy they want more <laughs> you know what i'm saying a damn um uh, a c-class <laughs> a c-class they want to s class and so on and so forth like come on now <laughs> when you fucking gonna be happy <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> I keep, I don't have that type of energy to just keep pouring and pouring and pouring into you if you're just gonna keep you know shitting on me on a daily basis you know what i'm saying yeah and to tell you and to tell you the truth fellas um you know um married or if y'all just dating or whatever y'all got kids together if you ain't happy keep it pushing don't let them fucking kids make you stay word word is mine keep it pushing because she ain't never gonna be happy and you ain't gonna be happy either so that shit is talking as hell i'm gonna leave it at that Damn, so you saying fuck them kids. Fuck all them kids. <laughs> Damn. Word. I don't the know. Adopted ones and everything. Fuck them all. Damn. Leave <laughs> all of them. Mm. Hank, what up, though? Man. Uh, I don't buy into that theory. Read this for me real quick. Happy is not a goal, goal for marriage, I guess. Yeah, shout out to my brother John the Baptist with the two dollars super chat. Happiness is not the goal for marriage. Go ahead, Hank. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that uh, that logic at all. I mean, because it's just one sided. So no, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't agree. I can't go with that. And, and if she just don't want to happen, and I'm up or crying and, and and miserable and and down and <laughs> sad and angry and frustrated. My feelings doesn't matter, huh? No, nah, hell, we ain't, this ain't gonna this ain't gonna be a good situation. So, mm. No, nah, it, it can't just be about you. Damn. Okay. So, does anybody that has an answer believe that it's not a toxic term? Me. Go ahead. Surprise, I'm sure. Um. So initially, I mean, I, my answer was immediately going to be no, and then just hearing some different perspectives, I can see why people think it is toxic. But when I hear the term happy wife happy life i don't just think about it being one-sided i think and maybe i'm just speaking for my marriage or maybe it's a fantasy that i'm living in but i think about it brings me joy that my husband is happy and it also brings him joy that i am happy too now granted life is gonna happen shit's gonna happen and it's not every single moment of the day that you were happy but overall in general i'm happy and because i'm happy it feels like for him as a man like i'm doing my duties and my responsibilities to make sure that my wife is good when I'm in that space, I am better of service to him as his wife. So I personally don't think it's a toxic term um, when you're looking at it from both sides. Because I'm happy, I'm in a better mood, I'm in a better place, so I can be a better version of myself to go ahead and serve you, so that you are also in the turn happy as well. But it's not just, it's all about me. And when Bub was saying I'm um, about like the S class or whatever the case is, also knowing what happy means to someone else is important, right? Happiness may not just mean, okay, you bought me something. Like, okay, that's nice. It could be an expected thing after a while, but that may not be what makes me happy. It may not be make me happy that you bought this. Happiness can mean that it made me happy that when I came home from work, you sat down and you made time in your day to sit down and have a conversation with me. You genuinely care. So I think what people, I think after a while when people are together for a long time, they lose the bit of conversation and they forget to have those sit down moments and figure out what really makes you happy still. Because what made me happy five years ago may not make me happy today when life happens, when kids happen, and all these other things. Alex, so I, one, thing, one thing you said, though, I just want to understand. You said 
when he he's happy it makes you happy so by nature of that if you just keep him happy wouldn't you be happy well it's a two-way street though that's what i was saying like it's not just one side it's just being specific to just me like, well, the, the term is actually one-sided though alex if you yeah, think about it well, that's why yeah. I said earlier. That's yeah, why I, said. I know y'all ladies are all about inclusion, right? I mean, I know that's what they they always fighting for, always pushing for. But that's a selfish statement. But that's because why I, words I, have meaning, I, and when it's exactly, exactly what happy life, it, it's not inclusive with the man. Nothing in there says man. So, under the in the know. beginning of my statement, I said initially my answer would have just been no. Then after listening, I can see why people feel it a certain way. I said for me, in hearing it, I don't just think about me alexandria as the wife i think about when i'm happy i know me. my husband's happy when i'm happy are you good are you okay and we check in and be like yo are you happy are you okay and then it kind we of don't, you don't always know that though you don't always know just because you're happy don't mean he's happy well i'm gonna ask he could, he could be crying on the inside but he, he's going a man that's sit there and tell you i'm fine but inside he's 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 it's being eaten up by life by his job by his career maybe even by you and he just don't want to share because he's afraid of your reaction. But I exactly. think afraid of you not being happy. But exactly. even that, that comes in with communication. And I'm not sitting here to say it's perfect. That's when communication comes. I am in a better space when I know that my husband is good. Like, you're genuinely happy. I feel that you are happy. Okay, I'm in a better space. Now I'm happier. Now we can go ahead and, like, that is all. <laughs> about this. You're not stressed about that. And, I mean, things are always going to be happening. However, that's where that checking piece in the communication comes in. But yo, Alex, right? Check this out, right? We could feel like we giving y'all the world, right? But then y'all come up with these terms like, oh yeah, my work husband. You know how disrespectful it is to say that to yes. a fucking man? A work husband? Yes, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? A work yeah. husband. You serious right now? So it's just little shit like that. All these terms, you know, they derive from like us men giving us giving you guys our all like to the extent that you know we can't give you no more so you know let me ask you, when you feel like you're giving your all right do you know that's what she wants are you ever asking like are you oh, checking I, your partner oh my communication is on point because i gotta know shit early word i gotta know i, I need all my red flags and signs early I told you my wife was on a 10 year plan. I don't fuck around. <laughs> I need to know anything early. See, so. I, I, get, I get what you're saying, Alex, in regards to if I feel like most decent women, and again, we're talking about the decent population of women, um, when it comes to like happy wife, happy life, like that term in general, I can see Alex's perspective in regards to if, if I. I married this man because I want to be happy with him. So if he's making me happy, I'm naturally going to make sure that he's happy. So there's not much work to put into it because us as women, that's that's what we feel like we were put in a marriage to do. So it's, you know, I can see her aspect of it being like, well, if he's making me happy, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to beam all this happiness and all this submissiveness and, you know, everything that comes in between that. So I can get her perspective of it. So, so what happens but, when he's no longer making you happy? Do you yeah. stop trying to make him happy? I'm gonna try to censor it, and I've been and we've been in a space where I'm like, yo, I'm not happy. And, it's, and then you have to divulge into like, what is it specifically that's not making you happy? You know, do we have to go to counseling? Do we need to check in a little well, bit more? You know, Alex, Alex, but that's not because you said it's a couple dope things, I think. But what, what Mary just expounded on, which you agree with, is it feels very like as soon as you ain't happy, he's fucked. That's what it's sounding like. Because if I'm happy, I'm going to make him happy. What in the event that you're not happy, right? That's the problem that we seem to be running into. Now, one thing that you said that was dope that I want to make sure everybody heard is um, you may be doing a bunch of shit that she don't even like, right? So you have to understand what makes her happy. So I just want to make sure that was caught. But what? But can y'all clarify that? Because it's not making sense. Or Ro, I feel like you agreeing with the sentiment in terms of like it seems very like only if she's happy. I, I agree 